Hello everyone, and welcome to my capstone presentation. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Tori Foster, and I am currently a senior about to graduate at Heron, majoring in Visual Communication Design. To jump right into it, the problem space I chose to explore for my capstone is sustainability in single-use plastic. I wanted to tackle this very relevant topic to find a way to help users cut down on their single-use plastic and become more sustainable. The initial direction I knew I wanted to take involved finding a way to pair an app with a product or a service. For my secondary research, it revolved heavily around the production side of my project. Because I knew I wanted to design an app, I looked into things like type and icon sizes and styles for apps to make sure that my app was as user-friendly and understandable as possible. I also looked into things like packaging so I could make sure that whatever product I created would be as sustainable as possible. I looked into things like biodegradable packaging as well as plastic alternatives. The primary research I chose to do was surveys and interviews. As for my surveys, I sent out a Facebook survey that reached about 33 users ranging from ages 15 to 56. For my survey and interviews, my participants were all ranging from lower to middle class. Some questions I asked were about if users felt they understood their recycling options, if they had the motivation to recycle, and their overall dedication to the topic. Some things I found through this were that many people in the group understood their options, but the biggest issue were about accessibility and convenience. Many said that they thought recycling and finding sustainable options was just too much work, they didn't have the time to focus on it, and they honestly just wanted a, su a sustainable option to be handed directly to them. And when I looked into existing solu solutions, I noticed that many did not cater to this group of people. Solutions were hard to find, they were intimidating for this group, and they were just not convenient. These solutions required users to have to change their daily habits, which people just didn't want to do. So when figuring out my criteria for success, I chose to focus on three main things. One, making sure the product I created was sustainable, two, making sure it was accessible and convenient for the demographic I would choose, and three, making sure that the solution was people-centered. Because I noticed many people wanted to make a change, I wanted to make sure that those people felt good about themselves when they used the product. As for my demographic, I chose to market people most re responsive to my research and those that seemed like they wanted to make a change the most. This ended up being those in early adulthood from 25 to 45, those who are lower to middle class, and users with a busy lifestyle. These were the users overlooked by other products and the ones that wanted the solution the most. My how might we? How might we create a convenient, user-friendly way to reduce single-use plastic? And the way I decided to do this was with the Good Label. The Good Label is a subscription, subscription service that sends refillable hygienic products directly to consumers. And before I dive into details, the reason I chose to create hygienic products over other things is because I noticed a lack of that in, a, in the sustainable market. Many products, regardless of if they were subscription services or just regularly sold products, only focused on kitchen and cleaning supplies. Hygienic products like shampoo make up a large amount of plastic bottles that we use on a consistent basis, and it felt like a market that could use a sustainable option. Now for the service itself, I decided to create a subscription service because it hit all the marks my users wanted. It is extremely convenient and accessible to the majority of people, and for how I was able to make a subscription service sustainable is with the packaging. Instead of wasting a ton of cardboard and packaging on sending products to users, this service is completely reusable and biodegradable mailers with eco-friendly inks. Now for the products. You may have noticed that I said that they were refillable, and this is the entire essence behind the service. This product, the products sent in each box are completely refillable glass containers and are plastic free. Each month, or whenever the user sets up to receive their products, they are able to swap out their empty containers from the previous month with refillable bottles. This cuts down not only on plastic waste, but the idea of glass jars being unused and piling up for consumers. For the branding, I wanted to make sure that these products felt as friendly and in, as, as inviting as possible. Another huge asset was making sure that the branding felt gender neutral as to not intimidate anyone from buying the products because they felt either too feminine or too masculine. And of course, I wanted to make sure it felt overall clean and modern. And the users need to find a way to get these products. That's where the app comes into play. Shown here are a couple pages from the apps, and next I will show a video of the app's functions. The first thing you see is the login page of the app. Next, as a new user, you will see these illustrations showing how the service works to help the user understand the process. It explains the choosing of products, how the refilling and the, how the refilling process works. Next is the home screen, and it shows all the products in a user's box as well as the delivery date for their next box. At the bottom left is where the user can shop and choose their product, and that is what you are seeing now. As you may have noticed, each product has, has a defined color. The hair care products are categorized as blue, the body care are green, facial is orange, and dental care is yellow. 
This is to help users navigate the app easier and find products that they want. And, the, and as you can see, scrolling through each product, and at the bottom of each page, there's a larger scale version of the product just so users understand what the product will look like. And that is the gist of my app. Thank you so much. That is also the gist of my project. Thank you so much for listening. I would appreciate any feedback. At the bottom of my screen, I have some contact information, so feel free to use that. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye.